Ready, ready, chicken swirlies. I'm so excited. Firstly, I'm very excited because this is my favorite time of the week. So when I get to sit down and chat to you, I do owe you a bit of a catch up. I went a little bit. I'm sorry. I feel like every video is, I, I'm sorry. Just YouTube is, it's just really hard to do a weekly thing. I think most people say that. It's just life gets in the way. Even though YouTube is like recording life. Um, you know what I mean. I know I don't have to swim without you because you're the bestest and I love you so much. And you're just my favorite people ever. You're my favorite girlie. So I'm so excited to sit down with you today. And um, even more exciting, secondly, is I'm an autumn winter girly. I'm sorry. I really, I don't want to be wishing away the summer and the sun. And I know a lot of us love the summer and maybe autumn winter brings you a bit of seasonal depression. Um, I'm here to help you fight that with fashion. Uh, personally, autumn winter is just my favorite time ever. Ever. I actually sometimes feel, I've spoken about this before, summer sometimes give me a little bit of seasonal depression. Um, I actually feel like that's because in Ireland, um, we're more used to the cold and covering our bodies up. And if you in any way like struggle with body image, just summer is, summer is a struggle. It can be a struggle. Whereas in winter, maybe we feel a bit safer. I, I know I personally just much prefer winter clothes. I much prefer wrapping myself up. It's something I'm working on. Like every summer I try to fight like you know teach myself to get out of that place but I don't know is it an Irish thing like just you're used to covering up and and if, if you're like me I'm not tanned all the time I'm I'm I can be very pasty I'm not always tanned so you know in the winter you can cover yourself up you don't always have to have your fake tan on you know if you're gonna be going out and you're gonna wear your arms out and put your tan on in summer it's hard to always be tanned Anyway, I'm sorry, that was just a little rant about my seasonal preferences. But if you know, you know, I think you might get that. I think you might relate. So this is the first of many Zara hauls for fall, autumn, winter. It's just so exciting to me. This just gives me life. Like you can probably tell I'm already just full of life today. Talking about autumn, winter clothes just is so much more inspiring and more fun to me. And um, so transitional weather, transitional season, it's tough but can be really fun. We're bringing back layers, we're bringing back all the pieces, we're bringing back boots, all the exciting stuff. So let's get excited. Let's let's fight off any fears of seasonal changing and transitioning with fashion, okay? I feel like I'm kind of slacking on YouTube a little bit, ever so slightly, just because of TikTok. I'm loving TikTok at the minute. TikTok is where I feel like I get to share so much with you um, and I bring you along on little days out and things like that. I think it's so cute. Um, yeah, even though I will, I'll do a vlog soon. Oh, uh, myself and Sam are going to be going to Electric Picnic where we actually met. So we're going to be going back there. We haven't been back there together. Um, so this is, so our four year anniversary is going to be where we met. So that's really exciting. So we'll vlog that. And um, so vlogs are coming, but for now, it's it's the halls. It's my favorite. It is the halls. And um I'm gonna show up now. You know what else? So just before, just before I stop, just before we get to, into Zara, just skip ahead. But this one's for the girlies. Um, I've talked before about the pill and the coil. I put up actually a question box about the coil. I'm getting the coil next week and I'm coming off the pill after years of being on the pill. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna sit down and chat to you about that too. I'm obviously not gonna vlog the insertion of the coil. My doctor will probably kick me out of the office. Like there's no need for that. We don't need to do that. But once I get the coil, um, and I've done that, I will come back to this couch, our favorite little couch, and we're gonna sit down and talk all about the pill, why I'm coming off the pill, why I fucking hate the pill now. I just have so many ideas in my head of what it's done to me. I feel like, I, I feel like I'm not myself in my body anymore. It's, it's been years, but only just in the past maybe year. Actually, yeah, the past year, I just don't feel like myself. I don't feel like I'm in my body anymore. I think you'll relate to that. Anyway, sorry, let's get on to Zara, but that video will be coming, and if that's anything you're struggling with, that's coming, okay? And always DM me on Instagram. I love chatting to you. I see you in my live, subscribe in the comments. I love and appreciate you, and you can always comment below and we'll chat below, or if I don't get back to you below, you can DM me on Instagram, and I always try my best to get back to you there. I just love you. You're my favorite people ever. And I always say in a clothing haul, I'm typically a UK eight on the top, UK 10 on the bottom. I'm five foot. I've been saying five foot two. And then I meet people and they're like, you're not five foot two. I measured myself and I'm five, two, five, three. Basically, I'm, I'm, I'm that little bit shorter and I end up getting my trousers taken up. I say that every time. Okay, let's get into it. Let's do our autumn winter transitional styling. Ah, 
I'm so excited. Okay, I love you. Hope you enjoy. So what I'll do is show you the pieces, talk about them, and over here you'll see future Sophie in the mirror. I just actually prefer it that way. I used to try it on here right now, but I actually prefer when I'm just chatting and can concentrate because when I was trying it on and talking at the same time, I just wouldn't get I just wouldn't get anything across. I just got too distracted. So here I will sit and chat about the size, fit, everything, and you'll see her over here doing her thing. I don't actually know where I want to start. Okay, I guess with transitional weather, we can always, always, always depend on a cohort set, which I have one here to show you. We're not, we're not fully into blazers yet. I'm actually just not on the blazers, like as in I'm blazer all year round. Today we're actually not gonna do a whole blazer haul. We might actually do a separate video about blazers and styling blazers. Um, but because we're not fully there yet, like it's not even September yet, more of a shirts and skirts vibe. Does that make sense? So our cohort sets can be our skirts and shorts and a shirt rather than a blazer, but we don't wanna be in a t-shirt anymore. We wanna kind of move into covering up our arms, but still not heavy, shirt and skirt. Do you feel? We have a few trousers, I have one coat. One coat, we're keeping it simple, we're just easing in, I have one coat to show you. Perfect for this weather, it's nice and light. And then just a few cute little bits. Actually, before we even get into Zara, just a quick H&M, because I know if you like Zara, you probably like H&M. Personally, actually, I kind of take that back. I don't really shop in H&M. Um, like, obviously we know I'm obsessed with Zara. I actually don't really shop in H&M at all. But I saw these on TikTok and I'm in love and I wore it on TikTok and you girlies went a little bit wild for it. So it's these long sleeve tops. I'll just show you me in action here. Or do I have photos? Either way, it's a photo here or a video. And these tops are honestly to die for. Really soft, really nice quality. Just a really simple long sleeve. We're introducing our long sleeves back and I love that. Like that excites me. And um, maybe it's because maybe it's because I have complex with my arms. I don't know. But I love a long sleeve. I just think a long sleeve looks sophisticated, cute, you're hot, okay? So we got it in white. I got them in a size S. I got the brown one as well. There is black and there is like a khaki green. Um, I found them in store, so I didn't uh, find a S in the black. Could have got an XS though. Um, and it actually probably would have been cute. The sizing, the fit is really comfy, lovely stretch to them, and they're just a really perfect autumn basic. If you're gonna have an autumn basic, like my summer basic, my summer uniform was like t-shirts, a little tee. Now we're moving into our autumn basic of a long sleeve. Just the most simple long sleeve. I also do love a polo neck, so in the next video we'll probably introduce them in. It's probably not cold enough for them yet. So these are a fabulous basic introduction. Wear them with trousers, a skirt, under your trench coat, like that is almost a uniform. That to me is uniform. You know what you're gonna be wearing, a pair of jeans. It's just really cute, on the go. You're gonna look adorable. So there, H&M, and I'll link them below. I'll link everything below. If I don't have the links, if things are gone or sold out or whatever, I'll do dupes. I always do dupes down below anyway. Mainly on ASOS, because ASOS I find you can all access and you'll all be able to find and shop on ASOS. So I usually do a lot of ASOS dupes for you. Okay, so three shirts. I've shown you this one already, but it's absolutely worth mentioning again, is this beautiful, it's called like a structured poplin. What actually does poplin mean? Oh, sorry, this top is Zara. This, I usually wear a Zara top in the Zara hauls. This top is Zara, and they have it in white as well, which I need. I just got it in black, and I love it so much. The sleeves are really cute. I love that extra bit of sleeve. Adorable. Uh, what am I looking at? Poplin, what does poplin mean? What does poplin? Oh, it's a fabric. Sorry, I might, uh, maybe I'm exposing myself for being really stupid here, but listen, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna now pretend, oh yeah, poplin fabric, I knew that, I didn't know this. What is poplin fabric? Fa uh, poplin fabric is a plain weave fabric, which means it is woven in a simple over under pattern. I still, like, okay, that, thank you Google, like that's amazing, I still can't, I'm not like, oh. Duh, it's still kind of blowing my mind. But anyway, it's a poplin shirt and the, it's the structure detail for me. It's the corset de detail. Sophie here will show you. It's the structure detail for me and the sleeves are really cute. The sleeves are quite, mm, not, not balloon. The sleeves are just like generous. Like I love a big sleeve. I love anything oversized. Obviously this isn't oversized, but I love the contrast of like a cinched waist and a big sleeve or a big shoulder. Stunning, it's always gonna look good. It's giving tailored vibes, like it literally has the bones in it. 
um, and I really do love that. And I feel like it looks expensive, obviously not right now, I probably need to iron it again, but um, it just makes things look put together expensive. If I was working in an office, I'd be wearing that always. Oh my God, sorry, I wore this. If you watch my Sarah V vlog in New York, I wore this to the Sarah V event. Sweat batches, covered in sweat batches. It was like 33 degrees. No, and I was wearing tan. tan. I had tan sweat patches all over me. I don't even care, no shame. No fucking shame, hot girl sweat, as Victoria Parra says, thank you. So then same, same, but different. You know we love same, same, but different is a cropped version of it. Really, really cute, love the fit. Oh, that was a size M and this is a size M. I love this so much, so cute. So you'll see her here. And again, with your trousers, a skirt, jeans, it's just hot. It's just, you know, I'm not sure we're gonna do that to the office because it's maybe a little bit risque. It's a little bit corsetti. It's probably just more of a night out than office vibes. But I love it so much. It's very sexy. So it's giving the same vibe as the previous shirt, just cropped. Yeah, I love it. Not much else to say, I just love it. Big sleeves again. Also with transitional styling. Oh, I have a jumper. With transitional styling, a cropped shirt under a little jumper. Stunning. Layering is everything. Layering I just think looks expensive, it looks put together, it's stylish. It's it's on brand, it's on trend, yeah? Ooh, and one more shirt. So if you know Lauren Candy on TikTok, she DM'd me and sent me a photo of this and said, so if you need this, she knew me so well, so I actually love this. So you're supposed to button it the whole way down, but I actually prefer it open. And it was kind of the same with the first shirt I showed you. It's actually really nice open as well. This is a size M. And so it has this side detail here um, that looks really cute. So I don't know, it just pulls it all together because when you have the little cinched waist and this detail, it just looks really nice. So it is definitely quite cinched. Like when you button it together, it, it is cinched and if you button it the whole way down, it's gonna cinch you the whole way down. Um, but I actually just really like it with one or two buttons done and then it just sits open. You'll see here what I mean. I don't know why, I just prefer, I think it's because it, I feel on me it looks a bit clumpy all closed. Maybe I'll show you it all closed as well, but it looked a bit more clumpy whereas the open just looks cute, show a little belly. Pretty cute. I just felt like it just worked better for me and my body type maybe. Um, and the big sleeves. I love a low drop. Let me make this make sense. I love when the shoulder is like down here. What do they call that? Like a drop shoulder? Duh. I really like that in a shirt. I kind of look for that detail in a shirt. You know, when it starts up here, whatever. But when it starts down here, I don't know. It just gives that slouchy, oversized look. And we know... I love slouchy, I love oversized. It's that beautiful, it's not champagne, but it's like a cream satin. You know how much I love satin. I think satin elevates any outfit, any look that you're going for. Just really thought that was like a special, special piece. And I've been wearing this, I wore this with satin. Oh, I'll show you now the trousers that I wore it with, or a skirt, um, which my Zara skirt, I broke the zip on my night out on Saturday, so I need to bring it to a zip yard and get, the zip, get a whole new zip put on it. I'm a mess, I'm destructive, I'm a destructive drunk. So I wore that shirt with these satin cargos. I've shown you these a few times between here and TikTok. I absolutely love these, I've been living in these. The waist is really nice, it's a like mid rise zip and button at the front, the cute little pocket details, and they're just really cozy. And again, they are that like satin vibe. And I just feel like satin makes everything look that little bit more bougie, a little bit more put together, a little bit more glam. So I love them. So they're gorgeous for daytime, night out, bit of everything. I love those trousers that can just do a bit of both. Everything's very nude and neutral today, but I love that. Oh my God, I, was gonna, I think I was meant to start with this cohort. Sorry, this one is very exciting. Hold on, let's get the blazer first. So, oh sorry, that was a size M as well, that shirt. Okay, this cohort, you know. I love a cohort, I love a blazer cohort, and this divine. I've shown you these months ago in the navy blue and the purple. Was there a brown one as well? I'm just obsessed. I do love a cropped blazer. Oh, I'll wear, I'm gonna wear this on the weekend. Um, sorry, I love a set, I love a matching set, and I love if it's a matching set with a blazer. It's just, 
It's giving. It's giving everything. You're put together, you're chic, you're on season. You're on season. This is a pair of boots. A pair of knee-high boots. Oh my goodness. And you can layer, you know, you could wear a little top underneath this. You could do a little shirt if you wanted. You can make this look really cool. And um, oh, it's just, this is, this is what makes me happy in life. So I got a size M top and bottom. And I also love, I really love, it's a skirt. That is amazing. I thought I was gonna have to get my, no, you know what? I think I will have to get my skirt fixed for the weekend because it's more white. This is more beige nude. Um, but I love it. Like I love how smart it looks. It's really giving like suit vibes. I love a suit, um, but in a skirt form. Just love these little, I love these Zara skirts, squirt skirts, whatever you want to call them. I just think they're really handy. They'll kind of go with a lot of things. And then with the blazer as well, you can wear that with your jeans, with your trousers, you can do a lot with the blazer as well. So you can mix and match these. I do love that about a set. You get your full set and then you get to mix and match them as well. No, oh my God, I'm so excited about these. I saw these and I died. It's giving Gossip Girl, it's giving school uniform, like I'm obsessed. So these are little skirts, both in a size M. So they are like a low mid rise. So I would kind of size up in them. Um, like sometimes in skirt or trousers, I could be an S. Like we always say with Sarah, you never fucking know because their sizing is so bonkers. But I wouldn't go an S for me in a lower mid rise skirt because I'm gonna want, I know I'm not gonna want it at my hip bones. I'm not gonna want it at my JJ. I'm gonna want it under the belly button. Under the belly button is kind of my new area. I used to be a real high waist, and I actually kind of think high waist, it's not going out, it, you know, it's, I don't think, a, you know what I mean? High waist isn't going out, but I do think a whole look could be so elevated just by showing a little bit more tummy. A little bit of belly button and that's wild for me to say because I I've said before complex about my tummy when I feel like it like showing my tummy wasn't really my thing isn't really my thing but I do think it elevates a look completely when you can see that little bit of tummy bit of tan on bit of belly button I don't know it's giving Britney or something I just love a bit of belly so um do you know what I'm saying like do you know like it's giving Britney, if you can see a tiny little bit of belly button, like right there, right there. Um, but be a high waist queen, like I'll still always love high waist, but I just think sometimes just, like I always say here, start having fun, like stop just believing you can only wear this or you can only wear that, like just start trying new things. And st like try and wear your jeans with your little, little lower. Try a pair of trousers on a little bit lower, maybe a little, little belly button and see how it goes. You might love it, you might hate it, but you tried it. Might be a new thing for you. Okay, so black and grey. The grey is severely giving school uniform, but like, I love it. Like this with a pair of boots, I'm obsessed. Maybe it's weird that I'm saying it's giving school uniform and I love it, but I feel like you'll get me. Like, I feel like it's Gossip Girl. I feel like you know what I mean. I feel like that's not weird of me. Just the pleated vibes, I just think, I just think it's really sexy. Pleat vibes with a pair of boots or a pair of heels. Like this with the shirt, like this with the crop shirt, I'm pretty sure the model wearing it online is in a in this outfit. And it's giving Britney in the best way possible. Y2K is here, 90s and Y2K is it. I don't wanna hear, I don't wanna hear any disagreements. No, I don't mind if you disagree, it's fine. But I don't wanna hear any negativity, okay? I think it's a vibe, and I love it, yay! This is my first jumper of the season. This is the first jumper I've bought, sweater, jumper, whatever you wanna call it. Oh my God, I love it so much. The color, it's so soft. I got a size L. This, this over a shirt, don't. I, this over a shirt dress, ah, I'm so excited. This genuinely just excites me in life. This is what excites me in life. It's the little things. The idea of this and a shirt and boots, I'm so here for it. I love the V-neck neckline i just think that's beautiful i'm obsessed and um the sleeves oh my god my first jumper and it's a good one i think it's a good one this was a pair of jeans oh this just makes me happy girls it really just makes me happy everything's been really neutral and i do like that's my kind of tones in autumn winter i just love neutrals i love browns i love whites creams mm, you know the vibe and to finish us off we do have one coat, just to ease us in, just to ease us into coat season. Coat season isn't totally or at all here. It's coming and I can't wait. 
Um, but this, I think, is a really good transitional easing us in. It gives me like night out, like date night coat as well. Like I'm going out with my girls on Saturday and I know I'm gonna be bringing this with me because the evenings are getting cold. The evenings are getting cold again. And this satin trench coat is just giving, it's giving glamour, but it's not too heavy. It's subtle, it's like a throw over. It's not a big heavy coat that you're gonna be sweating in. It's more of a throw over and I love it so much. So what size did I get? Probably an M, yeah, got a size M. Has the waist belt, the back of it. I love that detail on trench coats. Almost all trench coats have that. It's just that like, what do you even call that? It just, mm, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but I love it. The back always just looks so sophisticated. The collar, I love the color. You know I love satin. How many times do I have to say it? I am really happy with this. It's kind of giving like showing up at your boyfriend's house naked underneath as well. That's hot, that's cute. Love it. You know what girlies, I'm gonna find you a few links for loafers cause my friend is on the hunt for loafers and I'm kind of, I just took it upon myself to be on the hunt with her, even though I don't need a pair. These are my Pradas and I love them so much, but I am gonna find you a few loafer links, dupes down below. Uh, cause the loafer is also essential. It, it, I could do a whole video about loafers. I love loafers so much. You're gonna want a pair of loafers. These are the chunky ones. I do love the normal Prada ones as well, but because I'm so short, the chunky ones were just more for me. Um, but I do love the, like the classic Prada ones as well. Anyway, I need to stop talking. I could talk about this forever. So girlies, that's it for Zara. That was a nice ducky dive into um, transitional, your basics, your autumn, winter basics, your fall. I know a lot of people call it fall, but I feel like in Ireland, people are like, stop trying to be American and it's not called fall. But I like the word fall. It just kind of makes more sense than autumn winter because we're not near winter. It's fall. But anyway, don't come at me. Uh, for our autumn, winter, fall haul, I think these were pretty much our healthy, safe basics for easing our way in. And you're going to look hot. You're going to look shit hot. Now, I did haven't opened them yet. I got the Birkenstocks. I got the Birkenstock clogs, the Bostons, but I actually want to go and, am I going to be that annoying? Oh my God. I opened them yet because I want to do an unboxing on my TikTok. But you know what I'll do? I'll go and unbox them for TikTok and then I'll show you them. I'll quickly show you them. Um, you know the ones. I'll put up like a Pinterest photo of these. I think you'll know the ones that I'm talking about. I'm very excited about that. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go. I just feel so excited. I just really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions. Everything will be linked below. Dupes will be linked below. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you next week. A few different videos coming up. We'll do so many hauls in transitional weather styling. And then we're also going to talk about the pill soon. Also going to vlog electric picnic. That's going to be fun. Okay, I better go. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. You mean the world. You're my favorite people ever. And I love you. Mwah! Love you.